Joseph, it was very surprising to me to find out that most people seem to be unaware that their computers can get infected through social networks. Uh, how, does, how, how does that happen? What, what social networks should we be most worried about? Okay, um, users of social networks are facing what we call the problem of malware attacks through the act of deception. So they get a link from their friends, thinking that it's their friends, and then they click on this link. And this behavior is replicated, repeated over time, and it spreads at a massive scale. But it's not really from their friend, it's from the bad guys, yeah, from the hackers. It look, yeah, yeah. It look, but it looks like their friends. Okay. So now, the, the problem is, a lot of antivirus softwares have not been able to cope with the hmm. intensity of these malware creators. As we speak, 300,000 variants of unique malware is created every day. It's everything. That's about 1.5 billion a month. How do you cope with it? So what I did was to develop a security awareness system, I call it socialnetworkcriminal.com, where I can make you an antivirus software so that I train my users, social network users, to detect and avoid malware threats. But how can you detect if, if it's constantly changing, as you say? What on earth tricks so the, can so you do? So the tool is an interactive application consisting of a dialogue between two people discussing about an incidence of malware attacks. Mm. So in the process of this dialogue, users can watch this dialogue and be able to understand, okay, this happened and this is what to do next to avoid it. Mm -hmm. In addition, I, I extended the tool by making sure I will be able to measure whether you are aware or not, the level of your awareness. Mm -hmm. So users get some ranking system in the tool. And this is very useful for employers who work in the IT industry, they can be able to measure through my tool the awareness level of their employees. But I still am, am rather puzzled by yeah. this because if it's so, uh, you know, so that these messages, the type of malware is changing so much, yeah. then mm -hmm. you get a short message from a friend uh, in maybe 10 words, or a tweet, you know, 140 characters. How can you possibly detect whether it really is your friend? The question is context. Now, all these malware attacks, they take advantage of a context, a situation. For example, after this meeting or after this interview, I may receive an email or a message from my friend on Facebook that, hey, see what the interviewer said about you. So they've taken advantage of the context of the situation to trick me into downloading malware. So the uh, scenarios in my application will teach you all these various contexts. So we keep repeating all these contexts you know, on the, on the, on the situation, uh, security awareness system, and then users can now be intelligent enough to detect further attacks. So yeah. when is this going to be made available, and is it going to cost? It's available now. <laughs> but it costs? <laughs> it, uh, not necessarily. You know, you progress in the application. If you get to a certain stage, then you'll be required to pay a small fee to continue. But we can it. nonetheless learn for free yeah, at the very start? At a certain level, yeah. Mm -hmm. That sounds very useful. Thank you very much. Thank you.